What if I told you that over three out of four of you who clicked on this video have computers which anyone is able to gain access to within a few minutes? And no, not by the NSA, not a notorious hacker, or even a creepy white van outside. Just a normal person like your coworker, your roommate, or your close friend who recently started getting jealous of you. Well, I'm here to tell you this is very much a valid and real concern. Let's go into the basics. Most of you use Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS, the two major desktop operating systems on the market. Normally, when you install them, you are prompted to create a password in order to get into your computer. Pretty simple stuff. And after that, you're good to go, right? Well, no. Just because you have a password on your operating system doesn't mean your files and operating system are safe and unreadable to other people. This is because by default your files and OS are unencrypted, meaning there is no security cipher to prevent unauthorized access. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here we have my workstation Lemur X running Windows 10. It is password protected as you can see, but nothing is encrypted. Now, this flash drive in my hands gives me the power to access, read, and modify every single file on my password protected Windows computer without needing the password. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you. Shut off your computer, plug in the USB, hit enter, click this icon, and click on the driver Windows is installed. Boom! Every file on my Windows computer is visible. I'm able to copy files off of it without anyone knowing, I'm able to load files onto it without anyone knowing, and I'm able to open and read every file and actually delete every file and corrupt the entire computer. This actually works on any computer, not just mine. As long as the computer is not encrypted, it will work. So someone can load a virus onto your operating system which will bypass any antivirus since the antivirus isn't running. Someone can load a keylogger onto your computer to record every keystroke you make to steal all of your passwords and personal information. Someone can simply copy all of your personal documents and keep them. Someone can delete all your operating system's files altogether, rendering your computer useless. Or someone could even do things like load illegal content onto your computer, which could get you in jail. So yes guys, this is a super legit concern, but wait! What the hell is going on here? This can't be as simple as this guy makes it seem, or else everybody would be doing it. And this issue would be addressed. The truth is, it is that simple, and it's not being addressed. There is a third major operating system called Linux. It's free, open source, magical, and it's for the most part community run. So people are able to modify it as they please to make different versions of the operating system, more commonly known as different Linux distributions, such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Fedora. One of the very common features that ships with these Linux distributions is automatically mounting drives from both Windows and Mac OS, meaning that you'll be able to modify those drives. So is this Linux thing supposed to be used for hacking? No, Linux is just another operating system like Windows. Dell ships it with some of their laptops, over 60% of servers use it to host the websites you view every day, and the automatic drive mounting feature is actually a feature. It allows you to access files and modify them between two operating systems instantaneously without you having to boot into the second operating system. It's very handy. Additionally, Linux doesn't have to be installed for you to run it. You can create a bootable Linux flash drive like the one I was using, and you can boot straight into the OS from the flash drive, which allows you to test the operating system before deciding to install it. It's a pretty nifty feature. I actually made a tutorial showing how to set one up here or below the video. So if it's not Linux's fault for this happening, it's just a feature, whose fault is it? Well, it's, uh, just kidding, it, it's mostly yours though, and a little bit of the manufacturer's fault as well. The reason I'm and everyone else is able to access a majority of your computers is because your drives are not encrypted. I did a poll, which many of you took part in, thank you for that, and it found that a majority of you do understand what encryption is, at least you say you do. Yet a majority of you also don't encrypt your entire desktop computer where most of your digital life is stored. So the answer is simple, let's encrypt our drives. If you're on Mac OS, this is extremely easy and it's your fault for not doing it beforehand. Open system preferences, go to security, go to file locker, and go through the setup process to fully encrypt your drive. It's that easy. Windows, however, really makes things annoying for a majority of you. The Windows equivalent to file locker is called BitLocker. Open File Explorer, find your drive, right click, and enable BitLocker. 
A majority of you though will not see this setting and that's because BitLocker is only available for Windows Professional, not Home. Great job, Microsoft. Luckily, there are other free tools you can use like Veracrypt, which are free, open source, and actually do a better job than BitLocker. I'll leave a video here and below with a tutorial showing how to use Veracrypt in the future. So. It's not done yet, hopefully soon. Also, your BIOS, which you can typically access by spamming some of your function keys, may offer disk encryption or require a password to mount a drive, which can do the trick as well. All right, so we're all done. We encrypted our drives, which is great. Now, if we try to do the same technique, we aren't able to access the drive. So success, right? Well, close. There's one more thing we probably want to do. In order to run the flash drive in the first place, you have to go into your computer's BIOS and change where your computer looks for an operating system first. This is called your computer's boot priority. By default, it's set to the drive where Windows is installed, so it boots up into Windows every time. But if someone wants to boot from a flash drive, they have to set the flash drive to a higher priority than Windows so it boots up before Windows. You can actually improve the security of your already encrypted drives by requiring a password to access the BIOS or move past the BIOS to start the OS, which is how someone can boot off this flash drive in the first place. This alone shouldn't be your only security though, since someone can physically take out the drive and put it into another computer whose BIOS isn't password protected. Always make sure your drives are fully encrypted, and although you shouldn't rely on password protecting your BIOS, it is advised to use that as an additional precaution. So putting everything together, what's the moral of the story? Well, today we learned we should encrypt our drives, not in fear of some potential creepy white van or government conspiracy, but a genuine fear of the people around you. Remember, it's not uncommon for criminal activities to be done by the people you know. Taking these precautions are absolutely necessary. We should also blame Microsoft because they could improve this problem by offering BitLocker in more versions of Windows, such as Windows Home. And we learned that both Apple and Microsoft could maybe by default enable encryption, like your iPhone and a majority of Android devices. And we learned that a majority of you are susceptible to a super basic attack that can be and should be avoided by encrypting your drives. One thing is protecting yourself, but another is protecting your friends and family. Make sure to share this video with them so they are aware of this absurdly easy attack that can threaten their digital lives. Don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome privacy and security guides in the future. Also, join our Discord to have some fun, and don't forget to follow Instagram to keep up with the new videos. Thank you for watching, and have a Lemuricious day.